Yeah, really positive. We sort of you know, wanted to be building into our best form at this time of the year, regardless of how the, you know, the fixtures have obviously changed. But we sort of aim to be peaking around about now. And um, yeah, the, our running shown that last couple of weeks, and today yeah, it was really good and clicked against the side who they yeah, no, schedule made it extremely tough for them. Uh, yeah, we did, I don't know if we broke them in the second. The scoreboard might have suggested that. I thought we actually broke them in the third. The, sec, the second quarter, well, first quarter, we're down clearances 9-2 or something. Second quarter, we won the clearances 10-2, which made a big difference, and that was there on the scoreboard. But then I thought our pressure in the third quarter, even though we had more of the ball, I think we won the tackle count 23-7 in that quarter, and that's when we were up and going, and I thought that was when we sort of put the game to bed at that stage. Uh, just the players. Yeah, we, 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 we looked at it and we've been... You know, Lauren Bell is a really good ruck, so it just took probably a little bit of time for our mids to maybe adjust to where she was going. I thought Mim worked her way into the game. Um, but, yeah, I think it was our inside mids. We had a chat to them at quarter time about what they could possibly do differently, but it wasn't any stru- any structural changes as far as players go. They, they did it themselves. It seemed like Miller in that second quarter. Yeah. Well, I thought her... She's the only player that gets 15 metres gained with a smother. She really attacks them and gets the ball going our way, and then she's so quick. I think she had something like 600 metres gained today, which is phenomenal um, in a game as short as ours um, to do that. So, yeah, she was clearly our best player today, and she's been building up to that form, um, and, yeah, it was really pleasing to see in a final that she produced it. Yeah, absolutely. One of their, um, they give a report back each week, and one of the things they said last week individually was how many of them weren't clean um, at ground level. So it was a focus this week. Uh, Lisa Webb, who's our opposition coach, is also in charge of ground balls. So we did extra ground balls this week. It was pleasing that the girls wanted to do that. It's not the um, most exciting thing to be doing at this time of the year, but they wanted to do it. And like you said, it really paid off today. It depends who you talk to. I've been hearing a lot of talk that we're not still. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we, we've um, yeah we've played a side today who I think uh, their travel like that it was Melbourne, Mackay, um, then where were they last week? They were oh here, sorry, and then back six day break. So it was and a young side. So if we could get on top early, we're always I thought capable of doing that. And you know, they battled really hard, and they're going to be a really good side in the future. So. I don't know that we've really proven anything yet against the top sides is what that's going to be. Like, um, I think you'd really get your, you know, when you, when you do win. Like, so the North North have had a lot of big wins over um, you know, some of the lesser sides, but today they've fought out really well against Richmond. Uh, Melbourne, I think, are a really good side. Like, they've had a lot of injuries and, and different things, but their top-end talent is all still there, so they'll be a, a really good challenge next week. How, how do you think the girls will handle expectations now? It's... It, I get asked that a lot, but the girls, the expectations has always been to be actually, like, right from the start, we've wanted to be one of the, the best teams. So the, probably there was no expectations externally, but internally they have been there, and that doesn't change. So I don't think uh, they're a group that really worry about too much what's said outside, but they just focus on inside. And just from a player's perspective, how was it today? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, we were so excited um, to be playing finals footy this week and um, to win by, you know, 60 odd points um, was fantastic and uh, just a great input from every player on the team today. So, uh, yeah, good win for us and excited for next week. It seemed like the confidence just continued to rise and rise. Yeah. Out there. No, it was good. Every, every quarter, Juddy continues to ask more from us. So, even though we may have, you know, on the scoreboard put the game to bed, Chuddy continued to ask more for us, from us and we kept pushing and pushing and then had girls popping up left, right and centre doing their thing. So, um, yeah, good output from us. It's a birthday, so yeah, she's mum, up about. Yeah, mum said, uh, you got to get your... I'm a twin. Mum said, you got to get your sister a birthday goal and then get yourself one. Um, <laughs> but for me, like, goals don't come about too easy, so I just focused on um, working hard, running up the ground, which I know is probably this season a streak to my game, and then, yeah, 
goals just came, but um, I think I get other girls involved, so I was pleased with my um, efforts today. As a forward group, one of you will sort of always come up and keep reviewing. Today, I think there's four of you to kick off the goals, and pretty much all forwards keep the goal alive. Do you feel like you just yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not just one girl kicking the goals. It's always a couple of us. We're um, a re real deep team, but a real um, deep forward line as well. So, you know, Sabs kicks four one week, another pops up, kicks two, kicks one here and there. So, um, you know, all the girls give um, constant effort and, and real consistent effort. No, it's just, just, we just managed them all. So I think we finished the game uh, with Bowers, Antonio... Miller, uh, Strom, I can't remember that, yeah, but he just, just managed managed the, the ones who don't want an injury in the last couple of minutes, so that was all that was. And then, like, a young player like Webb, who hasn't played a lot of minutes, she played the whole last quarter and really you know, applied herself. It's a good experience for her, so uh, no, no injury concerns at all, which is great. Yeah, taking Cunningham's an obvious match up, absolutely, yeah. So uh, we'll, uh, it'll be a reason, because yeah, Pew's played really well for us last couple, but she was really good down back today. Um, and O'Driscoll, like, she was fantastic down back, uh, her contested marking. Um, so, yeah, so a few tough decisions at, uh, at match committee this week, but it's a good good place to be in. You actually mentioned playing Melbourne this weekend. How mm. is going to be next weekend? What do you expect to be Melbourne? Uh, yeah, because... I prepared for three teams this week at different stages and Gold Coast was the fourth one that I prepared for. So, uh, yeah, we're already on to Melbourne. Like I said, they've, they've obviously got a lot of injuries, but it's their top end still all there. They've still got like you know, Lauren Pierce back leading the ruck. They've got Daisy Pierce and Birch cross half back. Their midfield with Paxman, Myth, and I saw she bobbed up and kicked the winning goal. So their top end talent is as good as any in the comp. So we know we have to be at, at, at our absolute best. Their back line's been really hard to penetrate. They probably haven't been um, scored as many goals as I like. So it um, be interesting what type of game is played next week. If, uh... We haven't been told. We've been told we'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, we haven't been told that. We're probably presuming, um, as the side that finished on top, that it, that it will be but we haven't been told uh, anything, just that we'll find out tomorrow.